after a 100% inelastic collision, the second extreme case is a 100% elastic collision. What's happening in a 100% elastic collision is that two objects that initially travel in different directions collide and then continue to travel in different directions after the collision. A classical example would be pool billiard when two balls collide. Now, in a 100% elastic collision, kinetic energy is conserved. So you have kinetic energy final is equal to kinetic energy initial, meaning 1 half m 1 v final 1 squared plus 1 half m 2 v final 2 squared is equal to 1 half m 1 v initial 1 squared plus 1 half m 2 v initial 2 squared. If there is not 100% of kinetic energy uh, that is conserved, but a part is used up by uh, deformation energy, then that's what we have like a realistic collision, something between 0 and 100%. Now, the energy one is a bit complicated, but the linear momentum equation is exactly the same as for uh, the inelastic collision, which is it is conserved. So we have a final momentum is equal to the initial momentum. So we have m1 v1 final vector plus m2 v2 final vector is equal to m1 v1 initial vector plus m2 v2 initial vector. So in a 100% elastic collision, we can have one equation from conservation of energy, and then we can have for each dimension in which we're traveling, uh, one equation from conservation of linear momentum.